That's right, Gino. I'm told that the Vegas Golden Knights have doubled down in recent days and weeks in an attempt to try and move Max Pacioretty. He's got three years left at $7 million a year coming off of a 32-goal shortened season. And you think back previous in this offseason, they were trying to move any number of players on their team to try and gain salary cap flexibility. There's no question the team is over the cap at this point. They believe they can be cap compliant by opening night, but Pacioretty would go a long way in terms of getting some of that flexibility and also enable them to potentially take a run at any number of the high-profile free agents that remains unsigned at this point, like a Mike Hoffman or an Eric Halla. Now that the NHL has a plan, Darren, how, if at all, does this affect NHL teams' willingness, maybe, to free up players for the World Junior? Well, it definitely has some influence, Gino. There's no doubt about that. I'll give you the example of the Toronto Maple Leafs and Nick Robertson. Nick Robertson would love to join Team USA. Team USA would love to have Robertson at the World Junior Championship. It's all a basis now of timing. You know, if Team USA has a successful tournament, assuming the tournament goes on without a hitch, and they make it to the semifinal of the World Junior Tournament, that takes you to January 5th. By the time Robertson gets back and then he goes through the eight-day commercial a mandatory quarantine, he won't be available to the Toronto Maple Leafs until the 14th of January. So, decision pending. All right. Look, we were wondering if all this chaos might hurt the momentum the Seattle expansion team was trying to generate for the start of next season's debut. But, Pierre, apparently that hasn't been a problem. No, tremendous interest in Seattle. I spoke with CEO Todd Lewicki this week, and one of the things that he said was that sometime in January or February, they will have sold out their season ticket packages, and essentially they capped it at around 15,000 in one form or another in the packages in a rink that's going to seat 17,000 plus there's a waiting list. Uh, so tremendous interest. Also on the financial side for Seattle, I'm told through various sources uh, that the Kraken have maintained their schedule in paying their installments on that $650 million expansion fee. The last installment should be this upcoming spring. And once they do that, just like Vegas in March 2017, they can be invited to GM meetings, the Board of Governors meetings, and they can start making trades. And that expansion fee is really going to help a lot of franchises. Now, Vegas doesn't get a share, so that's about $21.7 per team at a time. They could really...